Hey, listen, we're lucky to have a legend in the building, Joe Baker from Bay Recorders. Hey, Joe, what's going on, what's man? What's up, Dee? Nice to see hey, you, sir. Thanks for joining us, man. Thanks for joining us. Great to be here. So, from what I understand, Bay Recorders started from humble beginnings. Uh, can you tell everyone, first of all, who Bay Recorders are um, and how you all started? Sure. Uh, we started this concept in 2001. A, a friend of mine, Stephen Fabing, and I started a, an idea, and it was basically started on the principle that um, live music is extremely important mm -hmm. and music is also being lost because of the advancement of computers and digital technology and the age of ease. Children aren't really interested in, in uh, participating in music any longer. Yeah. So our goal was to you know, not only help bands of all genres, but in really to try to help children want to continue to study music it's so that when we're older, we have music to listen to and not necessarily just have computers generating all our music for us. Oh, most deaf. I definitely can we kind of feel like music is sort of like Latin, and if we're not careful, we're going to lose that language that's spoken and if we don't do something about it. So our goal was to try to begin to capture some of the music that's happening in the Bay Area because the Bay Area is the mecca of music on the West Coast. So. Oh, most definitely. Uh, it's funny you said that. I remember stopping by that, that one spot on Irvin and uh, something or other, but I noticed that the homegrown vibe was there uh, musically. Good music is born out of those environments. Who have you had the privilege or who has uh, had the privilege of being recorded by you guys? Well, since 2001, we've worked with a lot of different organizations, schools, churches, nonprofits, but our main bands are, are local bands that travel throughout the United States mm -hmm. and then international bands that come to America and, and tour the U.S. So we've had bands on our label from the United Kingdom, from Japan, uh -huh. but local bands. We have a, a, a band, Animal Liberation Orchestra, who mm -hmm. toured with Jack Johnson for a couple of years. And Jack in fact, the, mm -hmm. the keyboard for Animal Liberation is also the keyboard for Jack Johnson. Oh, nice. And um, we have a, another band, Five-Eyed Hand, which is a local kind of jazz fusion band that's mm -hmm. getting some popularity and building some ranks. And then we work with, you know, solo musicians. Garen Binfield is one of our, okay. our big uh, clients who is plays a lot of solo shows in the, in the North Beach area. And, okay. And, and around the, the city. So anytime that we can work with any type of style of music that has a fan base that mm -hmm. is interested in supporting this these bands, that's what we, we go for. Nice. Well, um, I, I noticed on your website, bayrecorders.org, um, that you guys give back to the community and have, have raised funds for numerous world issues. Um, can you touch a little bit? Um, sure. Well, our big goal is be, because the live music is so important, we feel that if we can set it up as benefits to help specific organizations of whatever they're doing, whether it's tsunami benefits, Katrina mm -hmm. benefits, fire recovery, uh, flood recoveries, mm -hmm. uh, cancer research, whatever we can do. We, we get out there and we'll record these bands, produce CDs on site, mm -hmm. and make the CDs available so that fans that just listen to this music can then take those CDs home as soon as the show's over, then we can roll that money back into the fundraisers that were set up for the night for the benefits as it was. That's definitely, we need a lot more, a lot more people to do um, more fundraisers, you know, because you, you see the economic climate right now. It's crazy, and, if, you know, that's definitely something we need. Um, what Briefly, what's your future vision, uh, your bigger picture for the company? Do you have... Well, we, you know, always trying to find new clients, mm -hmm. always trying to find uh, new um, venues to work with. With okay. the, the economy has really crushed one of our big venues, our home, what we called our home court. It had to shut down in the fall of last year just because it's so expensive to put bands out on the road and that sort of stuff. So what we're trying to do in our future is to try to preserve music and make music a little bit more available for the commoners, either through CDs by mail or a download service or primarily the CDs out the door as soon as the show's over. Nice. Okay, well quickly, they're giving me a sign, but quickly, mm -hmm. what, what's your next show? Uh, next show we have Bobo Link Music Festival the last weekend in May. It's three days of music up in Belden and in, uh, in Sierra Nevadas. And nice. And nice, nice. Well, listen, Joe, we have to take our hats off to you and your company, um, definitely for holding the bay down. We'll put oh, that hat on there nice. if you're right going to take on, your hat right off. A little bit of stuff for you nice. guys. Nice. Well, thanks again for coming out. Nice. Please swag. look us up, bayrecorders.org. Cool. And of course, you got to wear the t-shirt. Okay, there, sir. okay. Well, listen, um, we're, we're going we're gonna to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're, uh, we're definitely going to have LCJ live in our represent studio. So thanks again, Joe. Thank right on, man.